Hey everybody, welcome back for another Tumblr sublimation tutorial. Are you having issues measuring your tumblers and getting a really good seam? I have found a really good way that works for me to get a good measurement that lines up my seams for when you have an image that is required for a seamless image and works really, really well. I have two different printouts. I just wanted to show you this really quick also. When you're doing test images like I do um, prior to printing, I actually use my regular inkjet printer so I'm not wasting my sublimation ink. So if you can see the difference in colors, this is an inkjet printed image here and this is my sublimation ink. You can kind of see there's a big difference. So using your inexpensive ink for testing is a lot more effective than using your really expensive ink for testing and messing up and having to reprint and wasting ink. So quick tip before we get to that, that works really well also. Um, so I have a variety of lengths and you can also do this in cardstock, just cut the cardstock to the lengths that you're needing and wrap it around your tumbler if you end up using another brand or deviate from the normal brand that you use, um, I usually use the same brand because it works really well for me. Um, so yeah, but if you're doing an image that requires seamless imaging and seams, um, this does really help. If you're using a just a blue or a black, just some black color, it doesn't matter much if there's an overlap, but it does definitely matter if there's a short uh, image line because you'll end up with a white seam and we don't want to do that. So if you can see here, I start my base at a 9.30 by 8 and have a variety that goes up to 9.35 by 8. I'm not going to show you all of these, but I'll show you a one that is um, undermeasured, overmeasured, and then the one that works really well. Um, and we'll start with an undermeasured. And so with this, normally when you're sublimating, you put the tumbler down on the ink side, fold it over. For this, just to measure and test it, turn your image over and place it down. Your white border side this time will go down for this purpose, but otherwise it always goes on top. So folding over and wrapping it tight. <clears throat> You will notice that there is a white line there. So that means it's too short and you're going to have a white line down the bottom. So you take that off, it doesn't work, put it to the side. I'll show you the one that's overlapped. Like so. With overlapped ones, obviously it's gonna be pulled over. You won't have a white seam, but if you can see really well there, the lines just aren't matching very well. Like right here, the lines go off. And this is a seamless image that I created, so it should match up like um, going that way. But because it's going too far, those lines aren't matching up. So one that works really well for me for this specific tumbler is my 9.33 by 8. I can't tell that that. As long as you guys can read that. Um, it's 9.33. It just works for me. We'll slide that over. And also another thing is when you're doing these seamless images, um, it helps to line up your bottom line border down here as well because then usually the rest of your image is going to line up also okay so this one here is generally a pretty good fit for me if i can pull it over strong enough for you guys So that is a really good seam for me. There's not gonna be any white line there. And it lines up actually really well if I can stop moving it. So. 
more lined up there. You can see instead of the overlap where the lines are gonna be over here and over here instead of going with the actual flow of the image. So that just works better. It makes it a lot easier instead of wasting ink, um, tumblers, especially tumblers. Um, we all know how expensive those are. So trying to find the most um, least expensive way of doing these is really, really gonna help. Um, if this helped you and you really enjoyed it or if it was a good tip for you, boop that like button, subscribe to the channel to help support the channel and share for others so that they can help get some help as well. Um, happy crafting and have a wonderful day.